If you're having trouble getting your generator started, you may want to try disconnecting your oil sensor. This can help you troubleshoot the sensor and determine if it's faulty or not. Check your generator's owner's manual for more information. Before beginning, make sure your generator's engine is fully cool. Step one, double check your oil level. On most one generators, you want to have enough oil in the crankcase so that it can be seen coming up about halfway up the oil fill next threads. You can always use the dipstick to check your oil level. If your oil level is okay, go on to the next step. Otherwise, add more oil, then try to start the generator again. Step two, locate the oil sensor wire. On all one generators, it's a yellow or yellow and black wire coming out from the side of the crankcase, usually just above the oil fill and the serial number. On some models, you may need to take off an access panel to get to the side of the crankcase. Step three, follow the wire to a connector. Once you find the connector, gently pull the connector apart. Step four, Follow the steps laid out in your owner's manual to start the generator. If your generator starts, you're all set. If not, reconnect the connector and follow the other steps in the troubleshooting section of your owner's manual. Thanks for watching. Remember when?